Hi guys and welcome to Wonderless Keva. Today I'm going to be talking to you about our wedding day and our honeymoon. We got married on November 19th, 2016. This year will make us three years happily married. That was one of the best days of our lives. We spent it with our family and our friends and we had the most fun and exciting day that we could have ever dreamed of. We love to dance, so we danced the night away, literally. I danced for him and he danced for me. The next day we were so tired. <laughs> On the plane, headed to our first cruise on the Carnival Conquest. We were going three places, which I'm going to talk to you about soon. Of course, we took lots and lots of pictures. You know how I go. And we toured the whole boat. It was so beautiful, everything on the deck. We went to dinner. We, it was a six day cruise, but we only went to dinner about three nights and we just ordered and they brought it to our room the other night. But the food was really good. You had food you could eat all day and then we set it our dinner for eight o'clock every night. And we was able to order off the menu anything we want. It just any extra drinks you would have to pay separate for and stuff like that. But for the most part, everything we got technically was already on the menu for us, included in our package. But the food was really good. It was a very big menu and we liked it. On the night of the captain ball, you know, a lot of people dress in those long ball gowns, but we kind of kept it a bit simple, semi-formal. And we were still on honeymoon, so all those fancy stuff, we wasn't on that kind of run. <laughs> but yes, we did enjoy our night. And of course, I ordered us some complimentary dipped strawberries. I just had to for our first night. And the next day, we was off to our first destination, Jamaica. In Jamaica, we decided to do two things that we never did before. First, we went tubing, and next, we did zip lining. I was surprised that my husband did it because he's not as adventurous as I am, but he did. <laughs> the next day, we was to our next destination, or maybe it was the day after, next two days. We went to the Cayman Islands. This again was an awesome experience. We encountered the wildlife there, mostly turtles. There was huge turtles there. I'm talking about bigger than me. I never, I've never held a turtle before, but I did that day because you know, I just had to, I, I'm adventurous and I just, can't let any opportunity pass me. There were other animals there like alligators and snakes and they also had like a showroom showing like the bone structures of I guess the ones that died and stuff like that. We also went to the rum factory. I'm not very good at shots as you can see. I'm more of a coconut rum kind of girl and they had rum cake as well. And next some place in Cayman Islands you cannot leave without visiting you have to go to hell <laughs> I know it sounds crazy but hey this is a must-see if you go to Cayman Islands it's kind of like what you would expect if you go to hell like something that looks really scary really dark and very dangerous it was like this prickly stuff in the ground I don't know what I don't even know what to call it but you, it's a must-see the pictures would not help you as much 
walked there and they had a lot of iguanas and stuff crawling around so I had to take some pictures of those and lastly we went on the mini submarine another first for the two of us we got to see all the little fishes and sharks that was under there and other creatures as well as the boats that were shipwrecked and they also had persons that went under and fed the fishes that was pretty cool and last but not least our last destination was in Mexico Cozumel Mexico what we decided to do that day was go to one of it seemed more like a home where they had persons come and show us their cultures, how they make their tequilas and where it originated from, as well as their dancing. They showed us how they dance and there was like a little musical. It was really nice and fun and the people were really friendly. We also had some food. I don't think I got any pictures of it, but it was different. My husband wasn't too much of a fan, but you know I always try and things so it was cool for me there also was this water fountain thing that I couldn't help but to dance in yes I was all soaked but it was worth it I enjoyed my vacation we both enjoyed our vacation and we would recommend anyone that loves traveling to go on a cruise it is an awesome experience thank you for watching